This is the Coromel Thrill Seeker. It's available, look, in a range of different sizes, but this is the 19 foot, six inch model. There's some really interesting storage options on this van. It's a bunk van. It's got most of the gear that you're gonna need for touring around Australia. It's a semi off-roader, but look, let's step inside and check it out. Now this large hatch here gives you access to one of this van's external storage options. It's a large tunnel boot. So we'll open that up and we'll have a look. And of course, there is a hatch on the other side. This checker plate storage box here on the A-frame is your other external storage option. Look, it's not a huge storage box, but you'll fit some tools in there, and maybe a couple of cam chairs. And of course, you've got a couple of jerry can holders either side. One of the things that this van seems to do really well is storage. And I mean, you can see that with these large overhead cupboards, um, they're certainly larger, especially these ones, than on comparable vans. Um, I like the fact you've got a little bedside storage nook right here. And I also really like the fact that they've fitted a couple of drawers for access to that underbed storage space. Look, you can get to it from above, but that means you've got to lift up the mattress. There is a hatch access point there, but much easier to use these two drawers. And then you've got the kids' room in the back of the van, and there's a huge wardrobe between the bunks and the little bathroom. And something that I noticed straight away is the neatness of the joinery. The overhead covers look fantastic. And the exit point for the plumbing under the sink where it goes through the cabin floor is done really neatly. It's sort of not unsightly, no massive, you know, big globs of silicon or anything like that. Now, as far as your cooking options are concerned, here you have a Thetford four burner cooktop as well as a griller, and there's an MCE microwave built into the overhead cabinetry. Here we have the technical nerve center of the van. You've got the Battery Plus 35 battery management system. You've also got the BM Pro Odyssey Link. And the good thing about this system is that it can send the important information about the caravan, such as the water levels and the battery state of charge, straight to an app on your smartphone. And I also like the fact that you've got these isolation switches here, you know, kept in a cupboard, out of the way. It makes the walls nice and uncluttered. With the isolation switches, you've got one for the air conditioner, hot water service, fridge, as well as the water pump. This is the kids' wardrobe that I mentioned. I mean, look at all this space. It's fantastic. And you've got this hinge section here. We just lift that up for access to the washing machine. Of course, you can open up this cupboard for full access to the washing machine. If you're wondering how much this van weighs, the tear is 2,426 kilograms. The aggregate trailer mass is 3,300 kilos. So that's a really generous payload capacity. The unladen ball weight, meanwhile, is 148 kilos. So the D-Max has been well and truly a good tow vehicle for hauling this caravan around. So that's the 19 foot, six inch, semi off-road Coromel Thrill Seeker. Love that east-west bed. Nice little bathroom good kids bedroom and loads of storage space. These are the hallmarks of this caravan. Now it's time for me to hitch up and hit the road, but uh, it's a little bit boggy down there, so I might have to reverse back to get back onto the main road. 